by the end of this tutorial you will learn how to build your fully fledged ai audio analyzer application just as the one you are seeing on the screen this application will be able to accept any form of audio and then analyze this audio and give you transcription about whatever is said in this particular audio you can customize this application however you want it so just stay cool and let's do this together so let me quickly test this application all you need is to click on browse and uh this will allow you to locate the particular audio file you want to test this application with so i have a test audio file here on my desktop and i'll quickly click on it this application will go ahead and transcribe this audio convert it to test and then the ai will be able to summarize this audio for us so this is fully customizable you can uh, tune your prompt for this particular app to uh, work for you in your own use case so you can see it has been able to transcribe the audio and then uh, give us some text in this particular audio this particular audio i use is very short so this is exactly what has been said in the audio and i think uh, how it has summarized it is very good and uh, it is fantastic so let's go through this tutorial and let's learn how we can build this together Alrighty, so before we get started, if today is your first time, kindly subscribe and also share this with people who might need it. Okay, so that's just out of the way. Alright, so uh, for the requirements, you will need to install these three libraries, OpenAI, Streamlit, and also Python.emv. So we'll be using the GPT 4.0 model, which is a multimodal model, accept audio, also accept uh, tests and uh, finally you can accept images or video files as well so we'll be using this model and we'll be utilizing the audio capabilities of it we'll also be using python.m to load in our environmental keys api keys in this particular tutorial extremely to build our interface nice looking interface which has made it very easy for everyone to customize a very simple interface in no time okay but before you get started you have to get your api key from openai.com forward slash api keys get your api key and after that just create .env file in that same environment you are writing your code in and uh write openai api key and place your api key here so you just have to paste your api key between these two quotation marks and that's all click on save and that's all so make sure you create .env file and do just as i say i'll be sharing this code with you on my github repository so you can also just click on the link in the description and have access to the code and customize it yourself so these are all the setups required um the next thing is to create a new python file so i'll just call this file ai or let me just do it audio underscore analyzer underscore ai dot pi so this is the name of the python file and as i said earlier everything will be on my github repository okay we will now go ahead and import some uh couple of libraries we'll be using so from .env we'll be importing load.env and that's what we use to load our api keys we also import streamlit as st we also need to import os and openai as well Alright, so it seems we are done with the imports and these are all the necessary libraries or packages we we'll need in this particular tutorial. Right from there, we have to set up our environmental key, our API keys, and also set up the particular model we'll be using. So for the API key, I'll just write load.env and this will um, automatically load all the environmental keys in this particular directory. I'll also specify that my model I'll be using which I prefer to make this all caps is equal to uh, GPT 4.0. So we'll do a GPT 4.0. This is the particular model we'll be using. Okay, you can choose the GPT 4, which also works well. You can choose the GPT 4.0. We can even switch within them to see um, the accuracy level. Okay, all right. And then we'll set up um, our OpenAI to get uh, access to this particular model we we'll choose. So I'll just call this one client. And this client is equal to OpenAI. And inside OpenAI, we can specify our API key. Okay. 
so we will see our api key is equal to i don't like this when it comes and over here we can use os to grab our api key so we can just do os.get emv it seems uh tab 9 is trying to complete it for me so i'll just click on it underscore api underscore key and this will just help us to uh, grab the api key we are using from our .env file so from here we have gotten our api key and this api key is stored in the client uh, variable okay we can now move on to develop our streamlit app interface okay so for that um, i've imported streamlit as st so i just do st.title to give title to my app and uh, in this title i'll just say um, the name or the title i'm giving this app is ai audio okay so this is the name i'm giving to my application from there in this same interface i want to get a place where i can upload my audio so we need to create an audio uploader okay but before that we can also define the format or audio format will be accepting so we can create a variable here for audio format and this will be equal to a list of some audio formats we accept okay so we we'll accept mp3 form of audio we we'll also accept wave and finally we are going to accept m4a i think that's also an audio format we can accept so these are the formats in which your specific audio you are going to use should be okay if you have other formats you can add them here but these are the formats our app will be accepting any audio format that is not here uh, result in an error so you make sure you put that particular format here and now we can just say our audio file is equal to st.file.uploader okay so this will help us to create an audio file uploader and inside this parenthesis we can uh, just tell the user that okay upload your audio file or upload an audio file so upload an audio file so this will appear to the user on the screen that you should uh, upload an audio file and i think that is that is good already and over here we can also specify our extension so it's called type and this type is equal to our audio type because we've defined it ahead here so i'll just give it our audio format and that's it so this will go ahead and create an interface with the title or the AI audio analyzer and will give us an audio uploader and that will be nice so that's what we've done so far now with this out of the way we have to accept this audio we have to check whether someone has uploaded an audio file so for that we'll simply do if uh, audio file so if there is an audio file uploader we want to first display the audio file in the interface okay so we can just do st.audio and inside here we can just put the audio file so guys you can see how extremely it's very straightforward and easy to use so if there is an audio file uploaded we can just display the audio file on the screen and now we'll go ahead to transcribe this audio file so transcription means like we are converting the audio into text okay because this model at the end of the day whatever it takes images or audio files you have to convert them into text so that it can work with this text so what we are going to do now is to transcribe this audio into text and we are using our very own api from openai so we just use the whisper model from openai and uh, with the api we have we can assess that model so all we have to do is to derive transcription call it transcription and this is equal to our client and remember our client have access to our api key so we just do our client dot audio dot uh, transcriptions i think it's right here and you have dot create our client dot audio dot transcription dot create how come i've added transcription again dot create and inside here we have to give it a model we want to use so the model we want to use for this particular transcription is going to be the whisper one model so we just have to type whisper as in one and then the next parameter you give this will be your audio file so over here our file is going to be our audio file and that's it so this will go ahead and transcribe your given audio and give you a, a text okay so that's it now we've transcribed this audio the next step uh, is to feed this audio into our model 
and then this model will go ahead and do the job for us okay so for that i'm going to just paste in this boilerplate code here and i'll just go through in with you guys so the next thing is to just format this audio well and over here we said our response which is um the response we are expecting from the model is equal to the client which is our api which has access to our api key dot chat dot completion dot create so inside here we give it our model we tell you we are using our model with uh, specified right here and then we give it a rule we give it our message and this message is just a dictionary which we give it a rule what we want it to achieve okay so uh we give it a rule of the system and we tell it you are an audio analyzer ai analyze the audio and create what summary of the provider transcription respond in uh, markdown so this word um this is the tax we are giving to the model it has to analyze the audio create summary out of it and respond in a markdown so over here you can uh, create anything you want you can customize it to any how you want this is the prompt i have given it so in case you have a particular use case you can just uh, fine tune this prompt okay you can change one or two things about this prompt in order to get your desired output or desired result so this is a prompt i've given it and over here i'm feeding it uh, the transcript i'm giving it the audio we've converted to text right here so you can see i said okay in f string the audio transcription is here and we do transcription.txt to get our text from uh, the transcription because it retains other stuffs as well so this is all we need in order to get our audio being transcribed and also being fed to our model so now the model will return some response for us let's see how we can now accept this response and display it using uh, streamlit so that in our app we we'll, um, display this result and we'll see it in action so before that we can just use markdown so we can just do st.markdown and over here we can see our response dot choices we are taking it at the first index so response dot choices at the first index dot message dot content so this is what is going to return us our message or our re response from the model and this is going to be displayed right in our application so we can see it right after running this application we pray there will be no errors and i'm sure there will be no errors so um now we are done we can just go ahead and run this but let me take you quickly through the code once more before we run it so first we do our imports and know before you do this import you have to install all the libraries in the requirement .txt file here okay so with that done we load our environment key our api key so we use the load.env to have access to all of them in the .env file here and then we initialize the model we'll be using so model is gpt 4.0 we set that to a variable called client for open ai to get access to our api key right from there we just design our interface we also specify the formats of the audio we are accepting and then we create an audio file uploader in order for users to be able to upload audio files right from there we check if there is an audio file uploaded we go ahead to display that particular audio file transcribe it and get a textual output from that particular audio file and feed that uh, text to the model together with our prompt for the model to know what to do right from there we grab that response and then just display it in our application interface so i'll quickly run this and to run a streamlit app you just have to type streamlit run so it will be given to streamlit run and the name of the app so i'll just uh, type this in i've cleared the terminal so that you guys can see at the top so you just have to type streamlit run and the name of our python file right here is um, audio underscore analyzer you make sure you type the exact name underscore ai just don't forget to add the dot py to it and hit enter so if this works this is going to run your app open your browser and everything will be shown in your browser i think i can close this so our app is loading right here on local host port 8501 okay so it's running let's see all right and we got our interface just as we've designed it so ai audio analyzer which is good now we got our 
uploader file uploader here so i just click on browse and i have this particular test audio on my desktop it's the same audio we've used in the previous tutorial so i'll just uh, click on it this has displayed our audio just as we specified so now let's see um, the summary so you can see it's running here and let's see what is happening at the back end so it remains the same because there are no errors and wow here we go so this is the summary in this video the speaker will teach viewers how to use gpt 4.0 multimodal model this tutorial will cover how to input text images and audio files into the model the speaker emphasizes the mod to model capability of the model and encourage viewers to get started with the process yeah so this is exactly what i said in the audio and uh if you watched the previous video you know this exactly what i've said we've used this uh same audio in that previous video so that's it i can i'll upload the audio file so you guys can play it yourself and compare it to the output text okay so this how simple we can build um ai audio analyzer app using streamlit python and some couple of other libraries okay so in the next tutorial i'll teach you how to um deploy this uh, app with streamlit cloud so that everyone can use it so that you can share with your friends that you've done an awesome ai audio analyzer app they can check it out okay so that's what we'll be doing in the next uh video make sure you leave a like you also share you comment and i'll be looking forward to read most of your comments and address all the issues you will be facing also join the discord channel so that others can help you all the time give you access to extra files and documents Thanks for watching once again and as usual I'm going to see you in the next tutorial.